Innovations Guide, so I'm winning the most innovative Catalyst Award. There were 19 companies and Catalyst participating this year, which is a record number for us. So it's a huge honor for you guys. Tell me a little bit more about the Catalyst. Yeah, we're very excited to have won the most innovative Catalyst Award. Uh, we have been participating in digital health uh, for a while. Um, but this year we added a new use case uh, for well-being at home and I think we were awarded this particular award because of that uh, use case uh, where we looked at um, how to non-intrusively monitor the elderly at home so that the family and caregivers um, had the peace of mind uh, that the elderly were okay. Um, but the elderly at this point are not really um, wanting to wear intrusive devices to get the readings. So um, our focus has been on how do we utilize sensors or some uh, new type of devices that are non-intrusive, such as a sleep monitor, to gather the information on whether the elderly are getting out of bed, having their coffee in the morning, uh, opening the refrigerator door, everyday, everyday things, and uh, being able to get a green light status to the family. So there are so many challenges to deal with. How did you find inspiration for this catalyst in particular? Well, we worked with a, um, a company called Sutter Health in Palo Alto, California. Uh, Dr. Paul Tang uh, worked with us to define what would be the next uh, use case in healthcare. Uh, in our previous uh, use cases, we used a care at home application with uh, intrusive monitors, and we've continued to uh, move that use case along. Um, but Paul suggested uh, that we look into this well being at home use case um, because he felt it was the next step. So, do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So I think one of the important things to notice is that we have extended the, the catalog and the order API in this session also with the party API and also with the billing API. So we have actually almost have the full set of APIs that are offered from TM Forum today. I think the most exciting thing also to mention is to say that it is not only about the patient now creating revenue, but our business model is extended now into an area that is very, very interesting for most of the operators, which is settlement. So the back-to-back -back settlements that happen between most of these partners is also being looked at in this eHealth catalyst. So with so many different companies participating in this catalyst, because I know it's a joint team effort, what were the individual roles and how did you guys all really collaborate together? So um, the Catalyst has uh, had two sponsors, um, Orange and Verizon, and uh, the champions were Ericsson and Baysen. Uh, Verizon provided their uh, knowledge and uh, systems for catalog management and order management. Uh, they also supplied the uh, product offerings for the e-health devices, so the modeling of those product offers in the catalog and the, able, uh, the ability to take an order for those uh, devices. Uh, Orange provided an API for authentication uh, so that we could authenticate the nurse uh, uh, when they arrived at the patient's home um, to uh, be able to look at the data that was monitored. Um, the uh, Ericsson team provided, uh, which come from different organizations within Ericsson, provided a catalog uh, manager, an order manager, our billing charging system, uh, CBIO, um, and we also uh, provided the orchestration capability uh, to the partners so that we could perform the, the settlement. And then BaseN uh, played a, a big role in the uh, collection of the data, uh, performing the analytics and uh, allowing for the reports uh, to be distributed out to the family members and the patients. So how do you determine which company selects uh, uses each of their API. So obviously there are many to choose from. Do you first look at the use case, what challenge you're really trying to solve, and then determine which company has the respective APIs? So when we first started Digital Health, um, our goal was to uh, start with the catalog management and the order management API. So uh, those were the first two APIs that we uh, finalized in the TM TMF uh, Open Digital Program. Um, but as the list is getting longer now, we're trying to um, utilize as many as possible. So we've added two more, which was the party management and the, and the billing and charging. But as Johannes said, um, the settlement 
uh, down to the partners is very important and a difficult task to do. Um, so collection of revenue, everybody handles fairly well, but it's the distribution of that revenue based on the agreements that they signed um, that uh, takes uh, a little bit of effort. We're also, uh, our next step is to work on the party management, uh, onboarding uh, party uh, partner uh, API, and that um, uh, we utilized a piece of software to show that in this catalyst, but now we want to make that into an onboard partner API that would be available from the open digital program. So that will be uh, a next step for us. Uh, I think an exciting say, thing to say about it is um, that it's um, uh, very good that we, through the TM Forum APIs, are able to help different operators or different business partners at different stages. So it might be that a CSP today have a catalog already available and would just like to use the order API or have billing already uh, and would like to use the APIs that are non-standard or that is not his prime competence. So it, it makes it easy to add on or latch on like a Lego effect onto this uh, catalyst that we are using today. So I know that your booth has been buzzing all week at TM Forum Live with lots of excitement, lots of questions, lots of curiosity. So what's been the general reaction of the audience and what types of questions have they been asking? Oh, we had some difficult questions about how does the ecosystem actually work and how do the uh, players on board themselves and uh, did you think about looking at it from a cloud perspective and, and a software as a service perspective so um, we had lots of different questions um, we certainly had interest from some of the operators um, in terms of um, uh, joining the, the digital health team uh, where they've placed sensors in a, in a regular device, like a toothbrush. And they said, well, that's part of health and health care and, and monitoring when you brushed your teeth, I guess, was important uh, to them. So yeah. just an interest. Lots of good ideas. Yeah, yeah. Lot ideas popped up and, and it certainly was interesting. It was. I think there's uh, the one that I distinctly re recall was uh, somebody from the banking, from finance, also seeing some parallels to the work that they are doing today and asking questions around uh, uh, how we can use uh, some of those APIs that we are using in the health catalyst also for some of the work that they are trying to target uh, in their industry. It's fascinating how people are able to draw parallels between such diverse industries. Yes. So now they've set the bar really high with this award, where do you go from here? So um, for digital health, um, we'll be looking to fill out that uh, well-being at home use case. Um, we uh, did have a conversation about looking at some other health software providers to see if we can get them to join the mix. And we'll continue to work with uh, uh, Sutter Health and Palo Alto to see what's the next step in digital health. Um, we'll be adding some more uh, TM Forum Open Digital APIs, which will require us to bring on uh, more software vendors or solution providers in this space. Uh, so we look forward to continuing uh, the digital health ecosystem. We look forward to working with you. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.